So today we're going to talk about how to create a natural hummingbird feeder using our new salvia, Bodacious Hummingbird Falls. Those of you who have hummingbirds coming through your garden know how important it is to provide food sources for them. And most people use hummingbird feeders of various sources, various types to do that. Hummingbird feeders are great when they're well maintained, which means they're cleaned and stocked regularly. For the first time, you can now use a salvia variety, salvia hummingbird falls, in lieu of a hummingbird feeder. They naturally grow out and cascade over a hanging basket, and the hummingbirds love them, and it continues to bloom the entire season, giving you a way to feed your hummingbirds without the laborious effort behind hummingbird feeders. So, hanging baskets. This is a typical hanging basket container. This is a 12 inch basket. You've probably seen these for sale. They're inexpensive. Something like this will work. It's a little bit small for hummingbird falls, but depending on your garden, it may be what you want to use. Here is a more elaborate hanging basket, cast iron with this coconut core li um, liner. It's a, a beautifully made basket that will last for years and years. And most of these larger baskets, this is 18 inches in diameter, by the way. Most of these larger baskets come with inserts so that you can do your planting in the insert and then drop it in place. And this is a wonderful thing. It allows you not only to do the work you need to do um, in, a, in a container that's less damaged, or that's less damageable, I should say, than something of this sort, but you could do this earlier in the season, let it grow out, and then drop it in place when you need to. So we'll, we're gonna put this out of the way for a while. And we're not going to be using this basket. I just had it here for show. We're using the potting soil that Flowers by the Sea uses really for almost everything. It's um, ProMix HP, that is high porosity, well-drained potting soil. This has been pre-moistened. You always pre-moisten potting soils. There'll be links in the article accompanying this video to our article on container potting soils for salvias. So if you want more information about this soil or other soils that you can possibly use, that information will be available for you. And I just want to call attention to the fact that there's a hole for drainage in this container. You see? It's important that there be good drainage for just about anything you plant, but especially salvias. So there's no real trick here at this point. It's just fill up the container with soil. And you get, get to get your hands dirty. It's wonderful. All right. So now I'm going to settle that in a little bit. It's important not to compact the soil too heavily. Today's well-engineered potting soils are designed not to be compacted greatly as that interferes with drainage. And I'm just going to put a little bit more in here to even it out. You see I've got a good inch or inch and a half around the edges and that'll that will serve as a basin for when you water the plant. All right, so that was pretty easy and simple. Now, I'm gonna place my Salvia Hummingbird Falls directly in the center. And here's a typically sized plant. Uh, the one you get, if you purchase from us, may be a little larger or a little smaller, but that's about typical, and you see how even now, it's already starting to, to weep and, and hang down. And in order to make this easy, I'm going to use a, a planting trick. So 
coming out right in the center of the pot. I'm going to dig out a hole, put this pot in, level with the top, put a little of this soil back in, pack it around the edges. So you see what I've done here? Got that pot right there. All right, everything's good. Now I can remove that pot, and there's a hole just ready for this. We'll take out the tag. Remove the pot. Nice healthy root system there. No need to do anything. Put it in place. Press it firmly and we're done. This is going to go back into this hanging basket and then we'll show you what it looks like when it's done. And by the way, you will find a lot of these containers have helpful handles. Don't worry about the handles. They can be tucked out of the way and within a very short period of time this plant will grow out and you won't see them anyway. So making a hanging basket with salvia hummingbird falls a beautiful way to prepare for hummingbirds in your garden and a gorgeous plant that blooms all season long with very little care.